uh, whatever happens, John Money probably feels he's uh, picked up one of the bargain buys of the season in the former Kiwi All Black, Frano Bottega. Only Steve Kerry of Salford has scored more points this season. Bottega breaks hearts with his kicking ability. If he was Welsh, they'd call him Bottega the Boot. It's becoming the most feared sight in rugby league. Frano Bottega taking aim steadily, surely. When Frano sets the sights, he usually hits the target. Seven out of seven for Frano Bottica. It's been a perfect kicking day from him. This week has almost been a perfect week. The right boot breaking witness hearts and Bradford hopes. I didn't really have much of a style to start with. Um, and obviously, being in the All Blacks, I used to watch Grant Fox, who does lean the ball forward as well. And I mean, he's one of the best goal kickers in the world, so why not copy what he does? It was Fox who kept Bottega out of the All Black side and prompted his switch to league. This season, he's currently the game's second top point scorer. You might say he's adjusted quite quickly. Well, Myla couldn't hold on that time, and Frano Bottega's in for a try. I think I'm adapting reasonably well for my first season. I um, certainly enjoyed it, and being with Wigan um, and the calibre of players and the experience they've got certainly made my job a lot easier out on the wing. But it's really the goal scoring that sets him apart, the individual style tilting the ball forward. Ten goals this week, 122 now in all. Against Bradford on Thursday, Bottica's accuracy earned Wigan a draw. Simple as that. I think there's quite a few good kickers around in rugby league, maybe not quite as consistent as they could be. Um, and I think it's just down to practice. And, and nowadays when the teams are getting so close, sometimes it, it, it boils down to who can kick the best. The potentially match-winning Frano Bottega fire engine and all.